President Biden was in East Palestine, Ohio on Friday, a little more than a year after the devastating Norfolk Southern train derailment that spilled hazardous chemicals. The president met with local officials and berated Norfolk Southern, calling the derailment an act of greed. Yeah, this is the first time the president visited East Palestine and has been under pressure to visit since the derailment happened about a year ago. CNN White House correspondent Camila DeChalis joining us now with more. Hi there, Camila. Tell us more about uh, President Biden's visit. Good morning, Amra, Victor. This was pretty significant, the fact that Biden went to the town to visit because the train derailment happened more than a year ago. Now, during the visit, Biden made public remarks where he just really emphasized how the government is continued to support and really committed to providing the resources to members of that community that have been heavily impacted by this train derailment. During his speech, he also emphasized how he really wants to hold North Fork Southern accountable for the role that they played during the tra during the train derailment. Take a quick listen to what he had to say yesterday. Well, there are acts of God. This was an act of greed. Norfolk Southern failed. Like I said, your compassion and resilience of the leadership of this community and the people of this community, the courage, they deserve the care and resources we owe them because that's what we do. Now, the biggest thing to come out of these public remarks is in Biden's visit is that he announced that the government will be providing six federal grants for researchers to study the long term and short term impact of the train derailment and the chemical spill that happened in this community. Amra, Victor. Camila DeChalice, thank you so much. Joining me now was one of the residents from East Palestine, Ohio, Chrissy Ferguson. Chrissy, good morning to you, and thank you so much for being with us this morning. I know that you have been out of your home and relocated a couple of times since this train derailment. The president has since visited. It's been over a year now. Uh, what are your thoughts on President Biden's visit to uh, your native town and the timing of it? Um, I asked a year ago yesterday, I made an, an emotional plea for President Biden to come to bring FEMA housing. I am going to have to go back in May if somebody does not step in and help with relocation from our government. So it's crucial, but taking a year to come has left many suffering in their homes, getting sicker by the day. Tell me about your situation and how difficult it has been for you. And my heart goes out to you because I know you have ailing parents, a stepfather with dementia. Your mother has Parkinson's. You know, I know what it's like to have a parent with dementia. And taking them out of their routine and relocating them to an unfamiliar place is probably the worst thing you can do for them. What has it been like for you this past year in terms of where you've been living and, and moving and where are you now? The 32 days in the hotel with six of us was heart-wrenching. Um, then Norfolk Southern had rented us a home due to my home is no longer safe. I get the contaminated creek water that comes into my basement. And um, they rented us a home and they've, it was until March and they extended the lease till May. But after May, we're at a standstill because they will not buy us a home. Um, they want us to go back to that one. Um, and we can't because I've had independent testing from um, Scott Smith that, that shows alarming levels. Mm. And we're stuck they have a offer where you can sell your home but my home's contaminated if i sell that and somebody gets sick yeah what you know what liability am i would i want someone to get sick sure sure so you're about a 20 minute drive from east palestine right now yes. what would you like where would you like to live the farthest away from train tracks as possible um, but my mother and stepfather has had a year to adjust to this home now. It's going to be over a year, and I have to rip them out again. Mm. Um, 
I would like to be, um, like I said, nowhere near train tracks, but it's not about me right now. It's about what's best for my parents. Mm. And what's best for my parents is not to keep uprooting them and definitely not to send them back to a home that's contaminated. I'm so sorry that you're going through this, Chrissy. Um, so much stress on you and, and you have a, a pretty large family that you're taking care of. Yes, yes. Uh, I thank anyone for that that helps. I, it's truly appreciated, but we are fed up with our politics, as you can tell yeah. by my shirt. Um, this man had went into the creeks, Dr. Rick Shot. He went in. I've not seen and did testing. I've not seen people like Mike Rowley come unless it's for um, to do a rally the day President Biden was coming to do a, a Trump rally. There's a time and place for everything. And we need help. But please, the help that's coming, they have to want to help and not do it because an election's close by. Yeah, yeah, we hear you. Um, we know President Biden has promised that the EPA would remain in the area until the cleanup effort is, is complete, but obviously your life remains in limbo and you need help and we hope that the people in charge will hear you and, and reach out, Chrissy Ferguson. We're gonna have to leave it there. I'm so sorry to talk to you under these circumstances. Thank you and we wish you, you. Uh, the best, thank you.